So this is the video about the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection. Imagine the cue ball is in that point on the table and we're aiming towards the second diamond. And if we now draw a line from the cue ball to the second diamond, the cue ball should travel on this path. And that's because the angle of reflection equals the angle of incidence. And that just basically means that um, in the angle that the cue ball will hit the rail is the same angle that the cue ball will leave the rail. So if we cut these angles in a half, each angle is the same. And if we now shift over um, a diamond further, we see that the angle, the outcoming angle will go towards this direction. And that's just the same principle. And the good thing here is with the diamonds on the table, every time when the cue ball is uh, on the line from one diamond to another diamond, so um, we can use that diamonds to just measure. So we're measuring from the diamond um, where the cue ball is on the line um, to the diamond where the cue ball will hit the rail. And this is two diamonds right now. And then we just have to go two diamonds further and see where the cue ball will hit the rail. And of course, this is just the theoretical world. In the real world, um, this changes because you maybe hit spin accidentally. Maybe the rails close or open, um, just depends on the rails. Maybe you hit harder, maybe you hit softer, maybe you have top or backspin on the cue ball. And that changes, of course, this angle of reflection and incidence. Um, I would suggest to watch uh, my video that I will give you the link in the description. Um, this will show you how you can cheat this angle or manipulate this angle of reflection and incidence. And um, I hope this helped a little bit. And well, see you at the next lesson. Take care.